The painterly image reaches its apogee with Tayyab Mehta, where it archives a human dilemma and by examining it seeks redemption. These words by art historian Yashodra Dharmia encapsulate the deep significance of Tayyab Mehta's continual exploration of the human condition through his paintings across his multi-decade career as an artist. As a highly sensitive person, Tayyab was profoundly affected by the sectarian violence he witnessed during the partition of India in 1947. Tayyab gave expression to this violence that engulfed his surroundings as well as his own inner anguish through a concise painterly vocabulary of which the human figure remained a central element. In his own words, and I quote, the reference to the human figure is essential to my work, not as an anatomical body, but as a form which helps me create space. I don't paint woman or man, I paint the human image, its plasticity. The artist's works from the 1950s and early 1960s are significantly different from the minimalist figurations that he would later become known for. Painted in the 1950s, the present lot you see behind me demonstrates an expressionist painting technique with heavy impasto-laden brushstrokes rendered in somber tones. This was a style that characterized the early phase of Tayyab's distinguished career up until the mid-1960s. The subjects of these works were often individuals who appeared to be weighed down by fate. As you can see here, the figure is depicted with a dramatic heaviness of form. Though some of his figures take on an androgynous appearance, the female form recurs in Tayyab's work. However, unlike the violent, contorted and fractured forms of the artist's later goddesses and falling figures, the woman rendered in this present lot appears restrained and unmoving. Her face, with its fearful eyes and pursed lips, suggests an unarticulated feeling of anguish and a sense of resignation. By placing the figure front and center of the canvas and using only subtle variations in hue and tone, Taya blurs the boundaries between object and context. The canvas is heavily saturated with color, the thickly layered paint instilling its surface with a heavy patina of disquiet. There's a tension between the figure and the space surrounding it. But despite the underlying despair and torment seen in his works, Tayyab's figures are equally notable for their embodiment of a certain dignity. As noted theater director and curator, Ibrahim Alkazi has remarked, Tayyab's subject does not become groveling and grotesque. He is patient and enduring. He suffers, he accepts his suffering. Such art is not art of despair, but hope. Through his fixation with the human form, Tayyab simultaneously externalized his own inner world and held up a mirror to society. The present lot is remarkable as a testament to Tayyab Mehta's precise orchestration of color, form and texture, even early on in his over. The work is especially significant given that the artist produced only a few works in this raw expressionist style. It is thus an important precursor to the seminal figurative works that he perfected in later years and exemplifies his belief in humanity's capacity to transcend circumstance and fate. Stay tuned as this poignant work goes under the hammer at our upcoming evening sale in New Delhi this September.